Hello, Star Seeds. How are you all doing? Hope you are enjoying your day or night, wherever you are. I am doing the same. I have another message for us. So let me go ahead and invite the Holy Spirit and we'll get started. Sweet Divine Holy Spirit, we welcome your presence now, God. We welcome you, Emmanuel. Come and speak to us, talk to us, God. We thank you for forgiving us of all of our sins. We thank you for waking us up this morning, keeping us safe from all hurt, harm, and danger, covering us with your blood, let no evil come near us in our dwelling, giving your angels charge over us to keep us in all of our ways. We thank you, Lord God, for your amazing grace, your mercy, your unconditional love and kindness that is made new to us every morning. We thank you for your faithfulness, God. We thank you that you keep your word, you keep your promises. Thank you for being consistent, Lord. We give your name praise, glory, and honor and reverence. You are holy, you're wonderful, you're magnificent. We love you, Lord, and we thank you for loving us. Holy Spirit, I ask that you speak through me now to give this word to your people. Tell us what we need to know. Show us what we need to see and be aware of in this season. We give your name praise, glory, and honor, and we thank you for hearing us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you all so much for all your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. I really appreciate you all very, very much. If you are new to the channel, welcome, 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 welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. You're always welcome back. All right, so let me get into the message. Um, we are in Taurus season now. Um, there is a full moon that is coming up on the 23rd, which is Tuesday, which is very, very powerful um, full moon. Um, this full moon is in Scorpio, so it's a very transformative um, transit and moon, full moon that's happening. Um, so, you know, the Scorpio, they deal with deep feelings, deep emotions, everything that's been hidden comes up to the surface, um, so that you can let go of what no longer serves you and move on freely with your life. So there's a lot of, um, transformation happening. A lot of, uh, things have been constantly being unfolded and revealed you know after this eclipse energy that we have had so there's a lot taking place a lot of uh truth is coming out every single day um so let me get into this message this energy here is like the player player the player got played and the player player got played if that makes any sense um, so yes, um, there's a group of people who their good luck has ended. Good luck and good fortune has ended for a group of people. And, um, they need to be very, very cautious moving forwards. They should have thought about all the things that they did before doing them. They did not um, read the fine prints. They did not have all of the information. They just willy nilly did something um, to try to defeat you. They really, really should have thought about all of this possibilities that could happen if this didn't work out. And so now these people are uh, experiencing a lot of delays and they're blocked. They delayed their own blessings. They blocked their own blessings um, coming after you. And this is something that they should not have done because they didn't know who you were in the spiritual realm. And so these third party inf influences they're um, dealing with some major t challenges on today. Um, there's a group of people that made some hasty, reckless, arrogant decisions 
with a karmic feminine and this could be a karmic lover sister mother auntie cousin whoever take what resonates for you and leave the rest so um this person was in deep heavy secret competition with you all um and this person did not want your divine partner to reconcile with you. This person did not want um, you to have a marriage with this person. They wanted this person to stop missing you, to stop craving for you, and stop desiring you. So they came after this person with lust, a Jezebel spirit, an incubus, succubus type of energy. And Jezebel spirit is not just only on women, it's on men as well. Um, so this person went out of their way to do sex magic on this person and just they came at them in a very lustful way so that this person could give to them. And they did it all for money. And I'm getting to that this person was able to trick a divine partner into believing that if they work with them that they would be living in this luxury lifestyle and status, you know, clout, superficiality, vanity. And this person took the bait. So this karmic feminine was um, playing your person, but your person thought that they were playing you. And, and also this karmic feminine, whoever this is, they thought they were playing you as well. But they got played in this situation. All of them who were involved in this situation, they got played by each other. And then all of this backfired and blew up in their faces. Towers are falling left and right because this was built on lies deception, trickery, dishonesty, trying to harm another person and steal from them. So this person is realizing that they all they did and this divine partner of yours, they gave generously to this person. Did not know that this person was doing was counter attacking them in the background, behind the scenes, behind their back. And they freely gave their money, their energy, their time, their emotions to this person. And this person can't believe that they got caught. Um, there's a lot of evidence out right now and people are shocked about what they're seeing and what they're finding out. And also a divine partner is shocked as well. And this karmic, whoever, everybody who was involved in the situation, all of them are shocked that they got caught and they're finding out information that this karmic was doing stuff behind their back, was counter attacking them and taking revenge in the situation. It's just a whole total confusion and hot mess and so this karmic is realizing that they did all of this to you gather all these people together to go against you even your divine partner um, in some of you all cases and they did not get what they were expecting they did not get what they were waiting on this is a very foolish impulsive childish immature action that they took operating in double energy, very obsessed, very toxic, very, um, you know, trickery, dishonest, 
this loyalty, playing games, playing a lot of mind games, dealing with a lot of addictions and just operating in devil energy just to get a offer from your divine partner. They wanted this person to come back to them and reconcile with them. But they did not get what they were expecting, what they were waiting on. They thought this will was going to, they were going to get the will of fortune, that, that they, they were going to get this expansive Jupiter energy. They were going to be able to move forward and expand. They were going to be able to travel and live a luxury, luxury lifestyle and be very comfortable. But this person is a, a dark high priestess or a high priest, and they had hidden motives hidden agendas and they did not get this wish fulfillment they are not operating in the star seed energy they don't have any hidden knowledge they don't have any spiritual gifts and this person was going to readers um, to get information and reporting back to the group like like God had given them the downloads of the information. But he had not. They were getting it from readers. And so they were trying to make these people think that they were um, an influential leader. And that they, could, they were a seer. And they had spiritual gifts. And they knew exactly what was going on. But they did not. And so this person lacked direction lack purpose they're not receiving um, anything from God from the universe they are have they're not the blessing and everything they did is coming back to them rapidly very fast all of this truth is coming back about this unrequited love um, that they had they were just trying to steal a blessing from you all this person um, was not awakened. They had a misunderstanding of who you were. Your divine partner misunderstood who you were as well. They were not awakened either. And this person um, didn't have no boundaries. There's no low that they wouldn't go. They tried to curse and hex you, your life, your love life, and your finances, everything connected to you. But this curse backfired and went back to them. And now they're trying to escape the situation, trying to avoid all the um, chatter that's coming towards them from these people in the group that they were um, connected with, trying to doing this to you all in the background. This has backfired and now um, a divine partner is trying to escape from them as well, avoiding them and um, pushing them away because they know this person is not their, their soulmate. They don't have deep love for this person. There's no unity in this situation or any type of um, bonding connection. They know that this person is not their divine feminine, but this person was trying to get this person to commit to them, to marry them, to give them a promise. Pretending to be you, pretty much. Pretending to uh, walk in your, in your energy, in your anointing. So this person was doing all this in the background. They were trying to, to cause this person to stop loving you to stop caring about you, to stop thinking about you. It's like, how can you make somebody stop loving somebody or stop caring about them? It's, it's impossible. They have to make the decision that they don't love this person anymore or they don't care about them anymore. Um, there's a lot of pretending going on. Um, this karmic feminine was pretending that they didn't care about this divine partner and also your divine partner was pretending that they didn't care about you or love you in this situation because they were after material gain. 
So this person could not separate. They were trying to distance this person from you, but they could not. So they caused a lot of illusions and confusion around your name, around you. Um, they wanted people to not be attracted to you, to be mad at you, to be angry at you, to walk away from you. They did not want you to be in unity with this person. They didn't want you all to mirror each other as twin flames or soulmates. And this is all because of abundance. They wanted what your life purpose produces. Um, everything connected to you operating in your life purpose, they wanted to take this from you. And they thought they could for some reason. But they was operating heavily in devil energy. Um, and this devil that they were believing in and trusting in that they was going to be able to get this done, you know, had them fooled. The devil played them out of their position. Apologize for the outside noise. Kids are outside playing. Um, so yes, this truth has come out. Um, somebody's divine partner was um, scheming and strategizing with this karmic and this group of people. They um. And they was doing this for a luxury lifestyle. Um, you could be a Taurus or this person could be a Taurus or somebody involved could be a Taurus. Um, or God is just saying that this truth is coming out now in Taurus season. But the Taurus energy is um, ruled by Venus, which um, the Taurus energy is when it's balanced, it's um, very elegant is um, patient, reliable, organized, very honest, very understanding, very intelligent, um, stylish, um, very diligent, sensual, sensual, sensuality, and they're a great listen, great listener. And so your divine partner thought that they, this is what they were getting. <clears throat> Excuse me. Throat shock of trying to act up. So this is what your divine partner thought they were getting. So they offered this person, gave this person a love offer behind your back. A lot of you all uh, were in a committed relationship with this person. But they wanted you to think that them and this person was just friends. But they were strategizing together in the background against you. This um, karmic feminine had a lot of influence over this person. A lot of influence over a lot of people. They had the gift of gab. They used their, um, their gifts for evil to control people, to mislead them and misguide them misdirect them and so your your divine partner gave this person a love offer behind your back they cheated on you they were strategizing and lying in the background and so now this person is in their feelings um, because they're shocked at all this information that is coming out this truth that is coming out and um, they're in their feelings um, because they have been a cheater, a liar. Um, they repress their emotions. They held their emotions for you within. They buried their emotions. They were pretending not to love you and not to care about you just so they can get this, this money by tomorrow, just so they can get this um, elegant luxury lifestyle that this karmic promised them that they were going to get if they collaborated with them. 
um, because they were the chosen one, the star seeds, the earth angel or whatever. And, um, but this was all lies. And so this person is in their feelings. They're feeling cold. They're feeling like they were abused by this, um, karmic and, um, they thought that this was a good plan and strategy and that they were going to be moving forward in success and victory, they, that they were going to be getting good news. But this is not the case at all. Um, the Venus rules Taurus, and Taurus is, um, you know, about love, abundance, beauty. Um, they love um, beautiful, nice things. They like... You know, they're organized, like everything tidy. Um, and this Venus en energy is about love, money, abundance, marriage, friendships, relationships, attraction, beauty, um, emotional bonds, business relationships. So this person is, this um, karmic lied to them and told them that this is what they're going to get if they collaborated with them. And there can also be a Sagittarius and a Pisces involved in this situation as well. Um, they told them that they was going to be having good fortune. Um, they was going to be able to be expansive. They was going to be successful, have a lot of wealth. They were going to be um, learning a lot of um, different things to propel them forward. They were going to be traveling. They were going to have this massive growth and achievement and um, since this karmic was telling them that they were a seer that they was going to be able to navigate through everything so they can reach you know this place of success which was a lie so they didn't really understand that this all of this was going to you all of this good fortune and everything that they promised this divine partner that they were going to have this is what you're going to have and this is what they would have had if they would have had some integrity some morals and ethics and not did all of this foolishness behind your back not being so gullible and naive because you're the, the, the real divine feminine or the divine masculine. You have a lot of spiritual strength. You're wise. Um, you're very abundant. You're loyal. You operate in integrity. You're grounded. You're very nurturing and empathy. And you're beautiful inside and outside. And your solar plexus is on points. You have high self-esteem. You have clarity of judgment. You think about things before you do them. You don't make impulsive, reckless decisions that will harm yourself and also other people. You have willpower. You're very strong. You very have a lot of inner strength, spiritual strength. You're self-assured. You know who exactly who you are, and you are a leader. So that they let this person trick them into believing that that they were their soulmate, but they were actually out of alignment the whole time with this person. And so now um, with this Jupiter energy here, um, Jupiter and Uranus, um, there's a lot um, about to get ready to happen because, you know, Uranus is like that um, unpredictable, sudden changes type of energy, which... Um, rules Aquarius and Aquarius is that progressive energy the you know the innovators the trailblazers and we're in the age of Aquarius and so there's a lot of sudden changes happening inevitable changes um, and people are um, the wheel has turned like the tables have turned and good luck is on your side and they're dealing with all of this bad luck and karma but they thought they were going to have what you're going to have what you're experiencing right now and they're losing 
Um, people could be getting evicted at this time. A lot of unexpected things are happening. They did not see this coming. Loss of homes, jobs, cars, uh, people being very dis- discontent and miserable at this time in a toxic environment, um, being kicked out, being left behind, being abandoned, um, a lot of drama going on right at this time, and people have no peace, there's no rest for the wicked. And this has um, this divine partner mad, this whole group is mad, this is karmic mad, divine partner mad, and the group that they had recruited to um, help them get this done. They were doing this like the power of three, like all of them was trying to focus their um, their energy, their mental energy on making this happen and trying to flip the script for you and cause the tables to turn in bad fortune for you. But it don't work like that. Like a lot of you all are um, operating in your life purpose and it is written you're going to get all the birthright blessings that are due to you because you're operating in your life purpose you're doing you're in your in your place in this um this dance with the universe um you're playing your parts your your piece of your puzzle has is has fitted into the the big picture of things and I guess they didn't understand this. They they um, trust in the moon energy. Like the moon energy is their God. But God created the moon. But they made the moon their, their God. They were um, doing all of this stuff with the, the moon cycles. And that's how they were getting a lot of you know, things and material things and also, you know, taking things from other people, but they didn't think that this was going to catch up to them eventually and boomerang back to them and this is what is what is happening. And all of them are dumbfounded because they, they trusted this karmic feminine was telling them the truth. Um, And they're realizing that they got misled by a gold digger. And the truth is coming out about all of this magic that was being done, that this group of people was doing towards you. And then they're finding out that this, um, and then the group is finding out that this karmic energy was doing magic on them. A whole hot mess. Um, A Capricorn could be involved, Aries and a Scorpio. So yeah. So your divine partner is um is mad. They mad at the world. They mad at themselves. Mad at you. Mad at um, this karmic, this group. They just mad at everybody right now. But it's their own fault because they let somebody lure them away for material gain, for money, for status, clout, to be seen as somebody or to be seen as great, to be seen as um, blessed. When they were already blessed, they were just not awakened to it. So, somebody's divine partner could have proposed to this karmic but now they're finding out all of this shocking truth and shocking evidence. They have found evidence, the receipts, everything that this person was doing to you in the background and doing to them as well. And they were pretending not to love this person and pretending not to care about them. And your divine partner was pretending not to care about you or love you because they wanted to please this karmic energy. and. You know, they had already made the agreement that, that, that you were an easy target, that you, um, this person knew that you loved them and cared about them very much, and a lot of you would do anything for them. So 
So they thought that she would be an easy target, that they were going to be to be able to keep you um, down in low vibration, running behind them and begging and pleading with them to try to to get them back, to get them to come back into your life and all of that. They just thought that you were weak. <laughs> they thought you was the, the weakest link um, just because you're, you're nice caring and nurturing they took your kindness for a weakness but not knowing that you were very very strong um, within and this person felt like you were a very lucky person that you know you always um, things always work out for you in your favor and it's because you receive what you project out into the world if you're sowing good seeds, treating people nice and kind and being nurturing and, you know, having good thoughts, having good intentions for people, then, of course, you're going to re reap the harvest of the seeds you planted. So this person may have proposed to this um, karmic and um, at a social event, um, they may have giving people invitations, you know, to the marriage, to the wedding and all of that. But now this person is finding out all of this information. They're um, saying goodbye. Um, they're saying farewell. They're no longer, they're breaking off these um, engagements and marriage proposals. They're realizing that this person is somebody that they had unrequited love with. This person was um, full of pain and grief and didn't want to move on, didn't want to heal and they were about to marry this person um, so it looks like yeah, they, they proposed to this person and they had the ring and everything and in some cases, some of them married these people with unrequited love and now they're finding out that this, this person was a snake um, this person was gossiping, telling, telling a lot of lies in the background, slander, gossiping, and telling people that they were only marrying them for money. They married, they was going to marry them because they wanted to use them. And so these karmics, they really thought that they were going to be able to get away with this and that they were going to be at peace and be able to get away with this. But all of this shocking truth and information and evidence and receipts and before recorded um, three-way conversations have come out and they're walking away from these um, they're breaking off the engagements or if they marry these people they are getting a divorce and so this did not this blew up big time in these karmics faces um, because they felt like if they tricked them into a marriage they were trying to force these people into a marriage just for material gain so they can be taken care of they thought since they were stealing a um, a star seed chosen one that they were going to get the birthright blessings that they were going to get the blessings that were due to you if they stole your divine partner from you. But this, they, <laughs> like I was saying earlier, they didn't read the fine print because that do, it doesn't work like that. <clears throat> this, this divine partner, if they married this person, they have lost their divinity. They have lost their, their position. Their, um, they have lost their, their spiritual gifts and everything because they're in the wrong contract. They only get the blessings, the birthright blessings and the inheritance if they're married to the right person. Um, so people be out here willy-nilly marrying people without seeking God first before they deal with people, places, and things and thinking that they can just marry anybody and they're gonna be successful. But when stuff hits the fan and fly everywhere and 
they're having obstacles and all these challenges, then they're praying to God to to um, fix the situation, to bring peace and harmony and balance in the situation. But God looking like, I didn't tell you to marry this person. You did that on your own. You're not even married to this person in the ethers and the heavens. It's not even written. So you're out of order. You're out of divine order. You're out of alignment. You're out of balance. So you're reaping the consequences of your reckless, impulsive actions for marrying somebody who was not meant for you to marry. Marrying for money. Marrying because you don't trust God to... um bless you so they was married if they married this person they married them for money married so they can be um, taken care of and realizing that these a lot of people lie and um, they was being very malicious in the background and this stuff is still crumbling because it's not meant to be it's not what is written for them and so now they want God to bless this mess. And God said he don't bless mess. He's not the author of confusion. They created this confusion for themselves. And now they're dealing with the consequences of their actions. For dealing with these snakes. Not wanting to transform and grow. And now this person is setting the record straight. Because they have found out all this shocking evidence, receipts, listen to um, three-way phone calls that were recorded, and now they want you back. A lot of them was in a situation ship with these karmics, and they was closed off emotionally towards you. And now everything is coming to light, has been exposed. And now they fighting over you. Like, make it make sense. Because they don't want this person to reconcile with you. And so now these um, divine partners, they're no longer talking to these, um, these karmics. And everybody was involved in this situation of steering them down the wrong path. Trying to keep them away from you. Trying to keep them from thinking about you trying to keep them from loving you and craving you and desiring you. They're no longer talking to these people. They're um, no longer interested. This situation is not progressing. It's not moving forward. They're not, they did not get what they were expecting. And so now this um, karmic, these karmic energies that were involved, they're realizing that they have to stop watching you and and um, trying to block you. They have to stop stalking you. They cannot block your blessings. They cannot slow you down. They only slow themselves down. And God allowed it to teach them a lesson because you all are walking karma and judgment. When people do you dirty, they about to learn a, a major life lesson. And that is what's happening right now. So they have caused everything that they wanted to happen to you. They have caused it in their own life. People are separating from them and not talking to them anymore. Because they let their ego and their pride overtake them. And they're not ascending And they thought they were going to get away with this. They, they didn't think that the divine was going to intervene for you. They thought that they was going to um, be able to keep you in toxic relationships. Having people coming towards you that are toxic and only wanting to hook up with you. To have one night stands. Only wanted to, you know, just sleep with you. Make you be a, a casual fling or a casual relationship, they didn't think that God was going to intervene in this situation because you're obedient, you're, you're on your right path, you're, um, you're operating in your life purpose. And so this was never going to work. 
and they didn't know this. They didn't read the fine print because they're not, they weren't operating in their life purpose. They was misled and misguided by their ego. They did not um, grow. They lacked direction and purpose in the situation. And they're repeating another karmic cycle because they failed to learn their lessons. And it's them that's going to be dealing with constant breakups. Whatever they wanted to happen to you, that's what's going to be happening to them moving forward. They did not want to change. They did not want to grow or evolve. And so this is how the cookie crumbled. And this has these karmics, your divine partner, everybody who was involved in the situation. They are in their head up at night, can't sleep because their foundation has been demolished. These towers have fallen in their lives and everybody is finding out who did what, when, where, why, and how. And they could not slow you down because you are in your life purpose, on your right path, headed towards your north node. You're not no longer in your comfort zone. You're no longer acting like a peasant, waiting for crumbs to fall, doing all this evil and magic on people just to get some some bills paid or to take a trip so so God's advice to you all star seeds is that these people did not want you to be happy they was a happiness hater And but he wants you to, to remember that it's okay for you to be happy. He wants you to um, say goodbye to your past, especially ones who these divine partners were in with these karmic energies trying to steal from you, but end up stealing from themselves because if they would have stayed with you, they would be going into this next phase and chapter with you very abundant so God wants you to say goodbye to your past because how can you trust somebody after this how can you even be friends with somebody who did this to you behind your back they might be coming towards you saying oh I'm sorry can you forgive me um, can we just put this behind us can we just be friends how can you be friends with somebody who is your enemy that was willing to take you, take from you? They was took your kindness for weakness and was willing to destroy you with these karmics and everybody who was involved just so they could have financial gain, status, clout, superficiality, operating endeavor energy. They're only sorry because this did not work out for them and blew up in their faces. So God is saying, say goodbye to your past and leave the baggage behind for good. He wants you to forgive them. You must forgive if you want to be free. Do it for yourself. So forgiveness is not about them. It's about you. For you to be free from it. You forgive them, but you don't forget what they did you forgive them but you don't F with them moving forward because they was willing to be your foe they were they let somebody influence them to be your foe and you would have never turned on them for money you would have never took a bribe to harm them, to take from them, to steal from them for money, for material gain. But this is what they did to you. So God is saying, say goodbye to your path, your past, 
and leave all this baggage behind for good. Forgive them. You must forgive if you want to be free. Do it for yourself. And um, again, you all could be seeing 888. As you focus on all the wonderful things that surround you, you're clearing the path for more positive energy to flow into all areas of your life and creating a place for abundance. Um, you could be seeing the number 555. A major shift is about to come into your life experience and change your past direction. Be open and stay positive. You could be seeing 777. Um, your purpose flows from within and everything that is unfolding or being revealed to you is part of your purpose. A state of peace and calm in your soul. Um, you could be seeing the number 99 or that number these numbers could be significant to you. It's time to get to work on the re realization of your soul's mission in life. You have a higher purpose in this life that is yours and only yours to fulfill unleash your true power so there's nobody who, who should be in competition with anybody because nobody has your assignments we all have a different assignment so there's no no reason no need to com compete with another person um, the number 15 could be significant to you your love for others is powerful and you are able to spread your gift of support far and wide. Your curious and social nature brings you in contact with a variety of people, all of who would benefit from your warm, heartfelt words of wisdom. So God is bringing new people into your life. And um, I heard the song, Oil of Gladness by Grace Williams. And I will place that in the description box for you to listen to that. Um, God is doing a new thing in your life. You're in a new chapter. Um, you have learned your spiritual lessons. You have learned the lesson and you're moving forward. You're moving on from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. That don't have your best interest in their mind and in their heart. You're moving on from that. You learned the lesson. Um, and God said he's giving you beauty for ashes joy for mourning and a garment of praise for heaviness you're about to experience a, a lot of abundance in your life and it's in, an inevitable shift and change it can't be stopped these people can no longer um, astral travel to you they can no longer try to steal pieces of your energy to profit from you can no longer stalk you. <clears throat> they have to deal with all of these consequences, the consequences of their reckless, impulsive actions. So they're going to be busy dealing with that, and you're going to be busy enjoying your life and experiencing everything that God promised you. And it is so. It is what it is. It is written. So move forward in confidence and be happy and wait on God. Seek God first before you deal with people, places, and things so nobody knocks you out of balance. Instill your joy or your inner peace. So enjoy your life and know that God got you. He has something better for you. He just needed you to learn a lesson needed these people to learn a lesson and now he's taking you in a total different direction your your um, latter days will be greater than your former all right star seeds that is the message i love you all god loves you love and light treat yourselves and others right peace be with you